Hey everybody, it is Chris Clark with DiscGolf.Law. Uh, we've just landed here in San Francisco. We're uh, making the drive over to Stockton for the OTB Open. And we got word that the judge has issued an order in Natalie Ryan's lawsuit against the PDGA and the Disc Golf Pro Tour. The bottom line is that the court has granted Natalie's motion for a temporary restraining order which will allow her to compete in the FPO division in the OTB Open this weekend, starting tomorrow. Now, the order just came down. I have scanned it very quickly on my phone, and I think there's probably more analysis that we could do, but I just wanted to give you an update and provide some of the high points from the order. So, a few preliminary matters just to follow up on some things we said in our prior videos. Number one, they determined the court does have jurisdiction over the PDGA and the Disc Golf Pro Tour. They determined the PDGA does meet the requirements of a business establishment in California. Um, they went through some legal issues like what type of injunction this is. Um, it, the court did interestingly note that even though the MPO division in disc golf does stand for mixed professional open, that it is essentially functioning as a men's division. So what Natalie had to prove and what the judge has found that she did prove was that the defendants denied her equal accommodations and that the reason for that denial was on account of her protected status as a transgender woman, that Natalie was harmed, and that the defendant's conduct caused that harm. And so those elements, the court decided she did meet those requirements. They did discuss a little bit the issue of Natalie's attorney waiting so long to file this motion. And they said by waiting that Natalie's counsel had created needless urgency that handicapped the defendant's ability to respond, but that doesn't nullify the fact that Natalie met her required legal elements. They said Natalie is a professional disc golfer, that is her means of income, and that the balance of equities in this case is in Natalie's favor. And when I say this case, I mean with respect to the granting of this injunction. And, and then finally, they said the injunction is in the public interest. So there's lots more to come on this. Keep in mind, this is just a ruling on her motion for a temporary restraining order. There's still a whole underlying court case that still needs to be decided. But for now, Natalie is, it looks like, going to be competing this weekend in the FPO division at the OTB Open. Leave us a comment. Let us know if you think the court got it right.